Yeah. Okay, number three on the worksheet. Um, what? Wait. Three and the same exact Oh, no, no, no. Okay, one and three are kind of the same. So if the bottom segment is nine, what is the top segment? Uh, well, no, 16. 16. Yeah, 25 minus 9 is 16. So x is going to be the square root of 9 times 16, because it's in the middle. So square root of 9 times 16 is 12. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's basically 3 times 4, so yeah, 12. Okay. Number 5. All of these are in the middle, huh? the odds. That troubles me. Maybe I should do an even instead. Number 4 is on the side, or number 2? It's like the other angle. Okay, let's do 2, and then I'll skip. Anyway, we'll, we'll do two. Okay, how, do you guys know how we can set up number two? So, 16 is there. You know that. Yeah, we don't, we don't need 16 for number two. Because x is on the side, oh, wow. you, oh. do the, you do the whole thing, 25, times the close segment, which is 9. You already said that one. So you do the square root of 25 times 9. So, 5 and 3? 15. So yeah, it is 5 times 3. Yeah. And these do get harder as we go. They uh, they kind of ramp it up slowly. Let's see. For example, number seven and eight. Which one do you guys want to do? Seven or eight? I want to do seven. Eight. Eight. I said seven. Okay, too late. I said seven. Okay. So twelve is in the middle. So we're going to do just x times 16, square root of x, equals 12. So it's the square root of 16x equals 12. We would get 4 times something. Um, how do, well, you can't simplify square root of x. How do I get rid of the square root? My, uh, you square it. Square it. So I'd square this side too. So it would equal 144. 16x equals 144. 12. Right. So two. Divide by 16. Uh, nine. Wait, what did that come out to? Nine. Nine? Okay, let's do that. Which is oh. pointing up left. We're going to use the whole thing times the outside, times the close side. Wait, what? Never mind. Okay. Anybody want to try to set this one up? Uh, Jordan, this. Chase, Joseph, one of you want to try? Oh. Joseph, what do you think? He's discriminating. That's correct. So he said square root of 36 times x equals 60. 
it's easy to forget the square root, so don't, don't forget it. Yeah. That's my bad. All right, and then it's kind of like the last problem. What did we do last time? Oh, we need to get rid of the by squaring it. Square. So that just becomes 36 oh, x. You guys know what 60 times 60 is? Uh, 30 30 one, one, 30, 30 yeah. Times no, 60 times 60 is 1,200. 12,000. No. No, 120. No. Are you serious? Okay. All right. He's on the board. Oh, he has another. <laughs> Wait, I was 60 oh, times 60. 60 times 60 is 36. Yeah, it's zero. Are you oh, no. are you doing? I shut up. Right. If you're ever gonna like start like yeah, um, go milk right, right. on the board. Shut up. Go milk a cow or something. All right. Shut up. Okay. How do I solve for x? Uh, Divide. Square. Divide. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm afraid to ask this, but what's 3600 divided by 36? 100. 100. I'm afraid I'll ask, somebody will get it wrong, and then people will start shouting at each other. Sorry, I'm just that okay. good at math. Okay. <laughs> Number 11. Okay, oh, wow. uh, Joseph did the last one. I'll take volunteers for 11. Eventually, I'm going to ask everybody, so if you want to try well, and well, I got it. All right, David. So, uh, you do 24 times x. Yep, the close part times the whole thing. Is equal to, uh, the square root of 24 times x is equal to 14 square root of 6. Okay. And yeah. so. What? It's a fun way. Yeah. And so you, uh, you square everything. But when you square root of 14 square root of 6, you gotta put everything in a parentheses. Then you square it. Because it's a square root yeah. of all. So of your calculator can do this. But basically, it's 14 squared times 6. Uh, that is a big number. Not six. Oh. No, not 14 times 6. It's 14 squared. And then those cancel out times 6. 1176. 1176. 1176. Yeah. And then you divide. Yeah. Divide by 24. 49. Okay, on 13, so now Joseph and David have done one. Okay, who wants to try 13? Austin. I do. Yes. Okay, so it's on the side, the 60 is. So we need the whole thing. What would the whole thing be? So we do 60, the square root of 60 times no. 6. No. Yeah. Okay, 60. The square root of 60x. No. Okay. 36x. No. The square root of 60 times 36x. 60 no. divided 60 by 30. 30. Okay, okay. Let, me turn it, let me turn this around and we'll, we'll go through it again. So it's, uh, let's see, 36 and x and 60. So I flipped it upside down, so it's a little bit easier to read. When it's on the side, everybody see this? Okay, it, it's either in the middle or on one of the sides. When it's on the side, you do square root of the whole thing times the nearest side, equal sign. Square root of the whole thing times the near side equals that. So 36 plus 6. Okay, what's the, shh, Austin, what's the whole thing? 36 times x, no. square root of that. The it's square root of 36x. 36, 36, 36 plus x. x. Okay, so plus x. Okay, so it's the whole thing times the near side, the square root of that equals 60. Yeah, 
to get rid of the square root, we square both sides. That gets rid of the square root over here. So we got 36 times 36 plus x Oops. equals 60 times 60. Didn't we do that one earlier? Yes. I wonder what it is. Wait, okay. Why the answer look the same? Instead of uh, multiplying this 36 out, which you could do, does anybody know another thing I could do? Is it that weird thing where you like do the x plus x minus? No. No. Since the whole left side is multiplied by 36, I could just divide by 36. Like so. And that just gets rid of that. What's 36 on your divide by 36? 100. Correct. And then. Okay, you did not have to do it. You did not have to use my trick. My trick this night. What would you do? Okay, we could have used distributive property over here. That would have been fine. No, we had to divide. Eleven. Right here. Remember when they tried to give me a different math teacher other than you? Mm -hmm. That was kind of funny. Chase, you want to try 15? Um, not exactly, but I can try. I think we just did 13. So, um, so you see how the, the 15, the number 15, is on the side of the yeah. triangle? Yeah. So that means you need to do the whole bottom side times the close side. So 15 times 9x? No. Or 15x times we just. No. So what would the whole bottom side be? 9 plus x. And what would the near of the bottom side be? 9. nine. So 9x times 9, and don't forget to square root it, should equal 15. Alright, now what do we do? That was, that's the hard part. Do the, do the square, square both square, sides. Yeah. That gets rid of the square root. So it's 9 times x plus 9 equals 2, 2, 5. Oh, so close. Okay, I could distribute the 9. Do you guys remember what I did last time? So close. Oh, it's a good Went in, divide by 9. You get x plus 9. <coughs> Equals twenty five. Why are these Did numbers all that? squares? Yeah. Sixteen. Uh, shut up. You said it like six times with that small sentence. Somebody's being a real negative Nancy today. What the fuck? More like every day. Oh, oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. talking about you, Nick. I'm talking about you. <laughs> I am I'm the, just so sorry for my absolutely unwarranted belligerence towards exactly. You know, there's just no reason for me to be as bitter as I am towards you all. I'm just, I apologize so much. You can do it, Nick. Thanks, Nick. Shut <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Do you want to come over to my house? I want you to shut your <laughs> yellow toothed mouth <laughs> in the nicest way possible. So, are you not going to his house for my <laughs> 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 Well, not Michael, no. <laughs> you guys can build a <laughs> Minecraft. I think you should make Nick an awesome hug it out. I think you should shut up. Nick, well, Nick, Nick and Jordan should hug it out for you. Know, the past I would literally years rather jump off the nearest skyscraper. See? Just send me up to the roof of the Phillips building and I'll just, you know. See, it's a win-win. I'll do a flip for y'all so y'all can watch. 
All right, on yeah, 17, you guys see how 50 square root of 3 is on the side, right? Yes. Okay, Jordan, what do you think? Okay, I think it's square root of 75 plus x. Right? Close. No cigar. 75 plus x times 75. That's right. Okay, now what do we do? Uh, <laughs> square to get rid of the square roots. Um, so it's, <laughs> it's 2500 times 3. Yeah, it's 20, yeah, 20, 50 squared is 2500 times 3 is 7500. You can let your. You don't have to do that in your head, just to look. you can do that in the calculator. Anyways, divide by 75 to get rid of that guy. I wonder, I wonder what it is. Yeah, I they, think it's 100. They keep using the same number. Why, why is it the same? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I get 12 wait, I, got, I know that's 25. No, 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 no. It's, it's 25. Because it's a quarter of a, a dollar. Thank you. Austin, this is one your mom left you here. No, I told my ass. Messed up. No, dude. What do you want to do with it? Don't worry. Um, what? How do I comfort? <laughs> comfort core. I mean, how do you do it? You need to get emotionally mad. That's what it says. Okay. On the last page. Okay. Number. <laughs> Let's look at number four first, because that's the easier. Then we'll work our way up. Number four. There's two parts. Okay. Do, do you guys, I guess you could have done number three. Do you guys remember how we set up number four? Yeah, it's 14 times 18 equals 21 times x. 14 times 18 equals 21 times x. Okay, I'm not going to finish that. We'll just leave it. That's how you do three and four. And eight and seven. Okay. Um, how about number six? Do you guys remember how we did that one? Yeah. Uh, um, so it's nine plus three x plus one times nine. Right. So you do. Yeah. So on the secants, like number six and five, you do the whole thing times the outside. I could say the outside times the whole thing. So on number six, on the top, the, the outside is eight, and the whole thing is eight plus five x, or five x plus eight. Can you put 40 x? No, never mind. Well, it'd be 40 x plus yeah, four, but. Um, so that's the top, and then on the bottom, you do the outside times the whole thing. What's the outside? Nine. What's the whole thing? Nine x plus three x plus, 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 plus nine. Okay, so three x plus, plus ten. Put plus ten. Three x plus ten all together. Shh, guys. No. Like a coffee bean. Okay, so distributive property. Oh, I think I might let you guys finish this one too. Okay, um, all right, number one though, there wasn't any of this on the book homework. So let's start with the bottom. What's the, uh, number one, what's the whole thing on the bottom? Nine equals, no, 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 nine times nine x plus x. No, plus nine. Okay, the whole thing is 9 plus x. Oh. The outside is 9. So on number 1 it's 9 times x plus 9. The outside times the whole thing equals, okay, on that other line, this is new, is everybody listening? Yes. What's the whole thing on the top line? 15. What's the outside? 15. So it's 15 times 15. So when you have a tangent, you just do, basically you do the tangent times itself. Wow. Just 
distributed property, I guess. It's kind of normal after that. Okay. All right. So we got some algebra challenges on some of these, as you guys can see. Um, nine and ten, the last nine and ten, you need to use factoring to solve, and that'll help you guys when you get there. If you did, but why don't you guys work on those? Uh,